now that our profile is roughly laid out, we can go in and edit the geometry to make things a little more exact. Selecting the profile activates grips. We can pick the grips and move them. To edit the geometry, you can see that it won't let you move a grip in a direction that it can't solve. If I grab this PVI and try to drag it to the right, you'll see that my grip eventually disappears because Civil 3D can't move the PVI to that location. I can drag this tangent to change the elevation and location. Or I can get things a lot more exact by selecting the profile, right clicking and selecting Edit Profile Geometry. This will bring back up the Profile Layout Tools toolbar. And just like with horizontal alignments, I can select the profile grid view. Here I can go in and make my PVIs be at even stations and elevations, uh, give more even grade ins, uh, grade outs, things like that. So I'm going to go in and do a few edits here. Uh, I want these to be a little more even. So uh, I'm going to set that to, uh, to perfectly flat, to zero and then just start editing throughout the grid. As you can see, when you edit one, uh, it can affect the component ahead of it or behind it as well. So you have to be careful with what you're doing there. And just like with horizontal alignments, uh, if you input math that Civil 3D can't solve, it will tell you and not allow you to change that. Now that we've made these edits, I'm going to go in and uh, I'm going to shorten a curve and then put in another PVI and add a curve to that PVI. So I'm going to drag the ends of my curve in to make that curve shorter. And then, just like we did with our horizontal alignment, using the Layout Tools toolbar, I'll go in and select Add PVI. I click to place the PVI, and then from there I can use the Curve tools to draw a vertical curve in there. I'm going to use a free vertical curve and I'm going to specify the parameter. I'll select my incoming and outgoing tangents and then specify the curve length or the radius. I entered a K value there of 125. And you can see that updated the information uh, for the components that were attached to this that we need to go in and edit again. Now I've got my profile to a spot uh, that I'm happy with. And we'll look at labeling it next.